Alright guys, I've just received my water cooling unit for the Ferranius Magic Wave 230i. So what's in the box? I got the cooler unit itself. It comes with cooling fluid, uh, some screws, whatever this thing is. Uh, this and this was loose, which just looks like a T-piece. Um, I also bought the uh, torch to go with it, which has the, that's the standard Fronius adapter for the gas. And then the hot water side and cold water side, obviously, which just clip into here. And then that's for the, um, for the trigger, the switch control and amperage control and whatever, but I tend to use the cordless, uh, the wireless, sorry, or cordless, I guess, um, foot pedal. Um, and the head, uh, which is the swivel head, so you pull that down and you can twist it off, and they're interchangeable with... Uh, oh, I've got another aluminium setup and then this is my stainless setup so you can just switch them out and plug them in so i'm just going to read through the manual and figure out what i need to do for this basically this is integrated to the system so that there's this female plug version of that on the bottom of the unit so that should just clip on uh, i just need to figure out what to do with this thingy i'm guessing hot and cold connects to hot and cold here uh, and I fill it up with this, so I just need to work out what that is, and we'll get her up and running. Alright, so that's the unit mounted. Um, you can see those two torque screws there, and there's two on the back. It basically just slides in and locks those in, and I had to do it by hand because I couldn't be bothered to go down the bus and get my Torx kit for the impact driver. So that looks like it's mounted, and I've filled it up. Um, they give you plenty of coolant, so there's still two thirds of that left, which is cool. Um, so I'll get it in its home and mount the torch and things up, and we'll get it fired up. One interesting thing is it says connect blah blah blah, but then use the um, coolant hoses to the appropriate blah 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 for the color code. So that's blue, that's red, but unless I'm colorblind, they're both the same color. Brass fittings. Um, so that's a little weird. I would have thought like it might have been a better idea to have one male, one female, or different size or something so you can't get them around the wrong way but anyway i'll have to work out which one's which because i can't see any color coding all right after a quick google and searching through another manual google was no help but i found this thing so in lieu of color coding i'm going to use this diagram to try and work out whether the front one so i'm saying front goes to the left this this being the front goes to the left and the back goes to the right so I'll plug it in and try it that way so if anyone watching this knows that I've cocked it up let me know and hopefully I don't damage it power it up and see what happens plug the torch control in for the moment because I just want to test this um, I think I'll just run a bead and a fillet joint or something on some six mil alley just crank her right up um just to test it i can't use i can't get arc shots because i'm just using my phone so uh i don't want to root the camera in it so i'll just show you the finished product it does take a while to start up this machine it's alive doing something don't know why. I think it should be in auto mode. Set it comes default <clears throat> in 
auto. Hopefully, yeah, you can see that. Cooling unit auto. So that by the manual means it only starts up when I weld. However, it's running now, but well, maybe that's because the first time I've connected it. Super quiet though. Like the cooling unit itself is quieter than the fans on most other welders that run all the time. And this thing's got on demand fans, so it's just you can just be welding as long as you don't hit duty cycle, it you can be welding for hours without it making any noise at all. Which is so good. Rather than noisy freaking fans. Um, alright, so, so I'm going to change it to AC. This to six mil. Do, 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 do. Uh, probably needs a bit more. I'll start at, start at one ninety. See what happens. Uh, I don't use that down slope in current. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, AC balance. That's about where I like it. Maybe a little less. Uh, and then I don't really use the cap shaping. Um, I tend to just grind a pretty sharp point on it. Um, sharp, I mean like stubby, like a low angle, like 45 degrees. Whereas my stainless, I grind like a, a really long taper on it. Um, all right, I'll get some plate prepped and weld something. Oh, it just turned off. Okay, so maybe it's just the first time. Fresh tungsten for today. Oh yeah, fresh tungsten. Very fancy. So I'll just put a small point on that and we'll get going. Oh, I use 2% lanthanated, which is blue for alley. And I use the weld porn, uh, weld porn multi mix for stainless. Getting low on that, might have to hit my man up at Oz Welding Supplies for some more. Alright, so I didn't actually have any 6mm plate lying around, so I prepped up some 3mm RHS. Just a quick scotch bright and acetone using 2.4 um, 5356 filler rod. Got the Viking, I'm really liking this hood for in the shop. And I set the frequency. I normally weld it around uh, 100, oops, at about 120 hertz, but I dropped it down to 100 for this. And I'm on uh, positive rectangle soft and negative sign. Let's give it a go. All right, so it's been a while since I welded aluminium, so. Not the prettiest weld in the world, but you know, you get the point. Needed to taper down there. Good with the foot pedal because it just the heat catches up on you. So I welded that at 145, so I tacked it at 150, and I don't know, I probably could have dropped it down to 140, but anyway, proved the point. Um, and that is not hot at all. That's very cool. Um, Normally anything over 120 um, with the air cooled and this torch was getting really hot, you couldn't hold your hand on it. Uh, and that's about uh, just under 200 mil long, I reckon, or eight inches for those Americans. Um, anyway, super impressed so far. Um, I'll get some aluminium projects going and give it a good test out, but yeah, Baronius. Magic Wave water cooling unit, you know, I think it's the CU something, anyway. Um, definitely would recommend getting one if you're going to get this machine because anything over 120 up to 150 amps and the air-cooled torch struggles for sure.